Hello, Boris has just announced uh, his resignation as party leader, with immediate effect, of course, um, but not his resignation as prime minister. He will stay on until a new prime minister is announced and elected uh, by a vote from Conservative members, probably by the beginning of the autumn. And uh, I think that's probably, when all is considered, the best that we can hope for. Uh, at least it means that we are not being left in the hands of the Deputy Prime Minister, Dominic Raab, um, the man who chose to sleep on a beach and slap on more Factor 10 rather than deal with his responsibilities to the many Afghans who gave their lives to help us. Uh, I think, um, uh, among other things, if you listen to that speech that Boris has just given, uh, that is a piece of prize... Boris Johnson, it was a spectacular speech and really we should have been having more of that and less of the rumpy pumpy and the nonsense which has been going on for the last year or so. We needed more of that inspiration and less of the, of the personality. Um, if only Boris could have brought his ability with words to the job and left his personality at the door we would we would have had a spectacular prime minister um boris boris's ability with words his ability with language is something that unites people rather than divides them it was that ability that made him such a good mayor of london and it's that ability that we should have been seeing in number 10. one of the problems i think when history is written uh will be judged to be that um boris was given too much opportunity to surround himself um, by second-rate individuals, which uh, somebody must have convinced him made him look good. Uh, I wonder if that person was Carrie, but it doesn't matter who uh, eventually takes responsibility for that. It could have been Boris himself. Um, somehow, with the big jobs, uh, the brain travels in the wrong direction. Uh, it's done so with Boris. It's certainly done so with Putin. It did so towards the end of her tenure with Mrs Thatcher, possibly. Certainly with Mr Blair. Though Blair, out of all of those, is the one who managed to leave on his own terms. Um, and uh, I think when we look back on this prime ministership, uh, it will be with a lot of regret that this was opportunity potential wasted. Um, I think Boris may well eclipse Mrs May as being the worst Prime Minister um, of the modern post-war uh, age. Possibly the worst Prime Minister that we've had. But on the international stage, Boris was superb. Boris was superb. And I would hope that in his remaining months, he will spend more time visiting Ukraine, shoring up that relationship with Zelensky and less time piddling around trying to um, manufacture and control his image because his image, uh, his image is, um, is something that cannot be uh, salvaged, I'm afraid. Uh, he now needs to hand on to his successor and hand on the, um, the country in a better state than he found it, if at all possible. And I hope that successor will not include Raab as a, as a potential candidate, will not include Truss and some of the dross that we've had in the present cabinet. I would love to see some of the nobler people who were recently appointed to the cabinet put their names forward. People like um, Chris Heaton Harris, but I fear as Chief Whip that's not going to be likely. Um, I would like to see uh, people like... Um, uh, Tom Tugendhat uh, possibly brought into uh, government, into the cabinet in these last few months so that he has the experience to be able to put himself forward as a serious candidate. Um, that is something that Boris could do for the party and for the country. There we are.